Hi guys, welcome to another video. Got a simple one here today. It's a MacBook A1 278, as you can see just there, and it's running extremely slow. So the task today is to reinstall. I mean, the hard drive is fine, um, but it's just, I think it's a bit tired. So the task today is to uh, replace it uh, uh, with a an SSD drive, which I've got just here. Uh, this is a, a crucial one, it's a 500 gig. It's more than what my customer uh, needs, to be honest. Obviously you can get bigger ones, but I'll say this is adequate. Um, uh, so yeah, that's what we're gonna do today. So uh, let's, uh, let's get to it. Back, sorry. Uh, so we're gonna remove the, the screws at the back of the, um, with the back cover. These are pretty strict, simple Phillips uh, star bits, so you don't need anything complicated. Uh, you do need a proper set. So I'm sure there'll be other screws inside. Just grab a tray and uh, kind of make a note of where the screws go, because you don't want to put the wrong screw in the wrong place. So just keep an eye on where you're putting those screws. If you don't remember where to put them, I mean, if you look at that one, it's a short one. Let's come out of that corner. The other three were long. So uh, yeah, just bear those in mind. I mean, obviously take pictures as you're going along if you're not gonna watch the video at the same time as doing it. But uh, here we have the video, so uh, it's a bit of a reference for you. So there's only three, I think, that are long on this machine. And the other ones are short. And there they are. I think they are the same size. So yeah, it's just those to one side, lift off the back. I'll tell you what, I'm quite impressed. This machine, other than a bit of a bit of dust, absolutely immaculate. I mean, look at that fan. It's never been opened before. Look at that fan, it's absolutely. I don't think I've seen a cleaner machine than this for a very, very long time, actually. Something here which let's get those plastic tweezers. I don't know what that is. It's just a little ring. Plastic ring where oh, well, that's come from, but we'll leave that over there. Uh, the only dust I can see is on the, the back cover, but again that's minor, so I'm just gonna give that a quick brush it off and as good as new. So there's not much we need to do with this machine. So the hard drive is just here. And what we do need to do, uh, as far as I'm aware, is to remove these screws. So again, it's just Phillips. That should just come out like so. And there's the hard drive. Now, what you have to be careful of is these flexes. Apple flexes are not the strongest ones. So be very careful when Pulling this out. Okay, pretty straightforward. So just remember which way it goes round. So we need to remove uh, the screws that are in the side here. Again, being a, a MacBook, they aren't going to do everything easy for you. So you need to. Do you know what? I can't even see what size screws they are. I got them in my kit at the moment. Let's have a quick look. I should have. Okay, yeah, this, uh, the toolkit I'm actually using, I mean, obviously I've got quite a few, but this toolkit here, I'll tell you what, it's fantastic. I swear by it, it's really, really good. It's uh, by a company called Chardon. I've done a review on it actually, and what tools are in there. Have a look in the description below. I'll send you the link and where you can get it from as well. Um, but it's it's a very good bit of kit. You won't need to buy anything else. It's got everything in there. Um, yeah, and, it, and, and actually the, the the actual bits that they provide are of good quality, so they're quite strong. So you need to do this exactly the same way. Okay, so take these screws out and put them in. To the other side.
pretty straightforward, isn't it? Got this tape on there as well. We can we can use that. Um, just put it on there. Put the old hard drive to one side. They have got with this um, with this particular drive. They've got this bracket. It just sticks at the bottom, and we can use that. Just peel the. back of the protection tape and we can just literally I don't know if it's uh, required but just put it like so and I think it just gives it a bit of a bit more height so it's very similar size to the original drive as you can see so without the bracket it'll be a bit a bit slimmer but this just gives it that extra uh, depth that's what you want to call it and then you put the drive back in and there'll be just there um, I'll just show you actually there'll be a couple of grooves if you can see just where those orange holes are one there and one there that's where those little bolts that we put in go in and also so that goes into position like so that sits there okay so that's now in and then we've got the other side okay so that again is just a Phillips screwdriver or, or bit Snip it up so it's nice and snug. Okay, I'm going to check what memory we've got in here. Let's have a look. So we've got two two GB sticks. That should be enough. Right, so what I've decided to do actually in this machine is I'm going to upgrade the memory because at the moment we've only got, uh, as far as I'm aware, we've got two two gig sticks. So to move the memory, you, you've got these little kind of doors here, pop, pop them away from each other and then just slide it out carefully. And as you can see, we've got two two gig. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add two, two, two four gigs. That way we've got a double with the memory and uh, machine will run a little bit quicker so let's pop that in there okay and the rest of it is pretty straightforward all we need to do now is to put the back cover on uh, which I'll do off, off camera or well, on camera if you like and um, yeah so that's pretty straightforward and I remember where the, the screws go so the long one goes long long ones go in the top right hand side the short one goes in there now to reinstall the Mac OS it's pretty straightforward uh, I'll leave you a link in the description below or you can just google it um, it's pretty pretty straightforward actually not, not, not too much to it So uh, yeah, I hope you liked the video. I'm quite, quite, I tried to keep my videos as simple as possible. A little too complicated because uh, if you come up with all these technical terms and this and this, this and that, people don't know what you're on about. And uh, that is kind of a bit annoying. So I try to do simple videos. Obviously some of them are a bit more in depth, but uh, the majority are straight forward and they're designed for people who can uh, who are not that um, what can I say um, good at doing DIY or whatever but uh, this is kind of designed for all levels um, so yeah there you go that's job done uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe it will be much appreciated thank you